Good morning and welcome to the Tom Brokaw News Center here at Universal City. I'm Conan Nolan. We hope you are well and safe. Joining us is Dr. Barbara Ferrer. She's the Director of Public Health for the County of Los Angeles and as such has the unenviable task of keeping 10 million people out of the path of a global pandemic. Uh, doctor, uh, thanks for taking the time. Uh, from the, for the outset here, let, let's just make the point that there are legions uh, of Angelinos who appreciate the effort that you've made, the sacrifice that you've made, and know that everything you're doing is in the interest of keeping people safe. So uh, we'll start off with that premise. But let's get into some of the details here. On the issue of outdoor restaurant dining, we interviewed the mayor of Los Angeles recently, Eric Garcetti, who said, listen, uh, we had for months outside dining and COVID cases were falling. And so now if COVID cases are on their, on their uh, uh, rising, why do we all of a sudden blame outdoor dining and restaurants uh, when it appears there are other avenues for the vector for this disease? Yeah, thank you so much, Conan, for having me. And, and that's a really important question. And I think it's at the heart of the confusion around the decisions that are being made right now. Uh, we have never in LA County, since the very beginning of this pandemic, had such an increase uh, surge in our case numbers. And it's not just that, you know, over the last uh, week and a half, we've increased the case numbers by over 100%. It's also the fact that the sheer numbers are mind boggling. You know, we're averaging uh, over 4,200 cases a day. Uh, we've had uh, days where we've been at 6,000 cases. That has never happened to us. At the height of our summer surge, we had about 3,300 cases a day. And the decisions you make as, as a community uh, around how much risk to tolerate uh, at lower numbers of daily new cases and lower numbers of test positivity rates um, are going to vary from the decisions you're going to make when your case pos your test positivity rate has more than doubled. Uh, we were just a month ago at about three percent of test positivity. We're over. We're like seven point four percent today. Uh, and as I noted, you know our cases have have not dropped below four thousand for days now. Um, and so our decisions are going to need to look a little different. Uh, now because there's less risk that we're able to tolerate when you know that more people around you are likely to be infected. Many of them, probably as many as 50% even, could be asymptomatic or pre-symptomatic, no symptoms, still able to pass on infection. The one thing uh, that we're certain of, and, and not just us here uh, in LA, but across the country, across the world, is that wearing a mask offers a lot of protection uh, around from spreading the virus. And uh, the one business uh, that's open here uh, that allows people to uh, participate in their activity uh, is uh, without any mask on are our restaurants. Uh, so it's the one place where uh, you're not actually gonna wear that face covering to protect others. And now it turns out even yourself uh, from the transmission of this virus. And at this point in time, because we have so much spread, uh, I think it's the prudent decision, and, and we've made it for a, short, a shorter period of time, three weeks, uh, to ask that our restaurants please go back to uh, just doing takeout delivery um, and pickup uh, so that uh, we can, in fact, make sure that whenever people are going to be out and about with others not in their household, you have to have a face covering on for every single activity uh, you do in LA County. You will need to wear uh, that cloth face covering. Uh, so, but is this observational, or is there is there research to support it? Because the University of Hong Kong, as you well know, uh, they did research in February. Said of 7,000 COVID cases, they found that two uh, caught it while being outside. Well, I mean, we all just saw at a White House brief at a White House celebration that was all outside. I think uh, a dozen people that we know of were infected. So absolutely, you can get infected outdoors. Uh, we have outdoor wedding celebrations where people have been infected, outdoor parties where people have been infected. I don't think there's, there's any doubt that uh, when you're outside, you can become infected. I think the question really was uh, so much safer to be outside than to be inside. And so the restaurants here, and I, I wanna really applaud them, they have been staunch partners with us. Uh, did everything uh, possible 
to make sure that they could move their operations outside. And, and for the most part, uh, the vast majority of them were in full compliance with all of our directives to create as much safety as possible. But the inherent act of not having a face covering on uh, makes it difficult uh, to prevent transmission. And this is particularly true because you're often at that restaurant with people not in your household. Listen, you've been talking about this for some time, and anybody in your line of work has pointed to the fact that there has always been a second uh, a larger um, spike in cases in every pandemic. Happened in this during the Spanish flu. We were hoping against it, but it's now upon us. Was this a foregone conclusion in many respects, particularly when it is weather driven to a large measure? People go indoors when it's colder. Mm. It's such a good question, and you know, I think it really, again, you know, highlights the challenge of uh, having a pandemic with a brand new virus, um, because we just don't know. Uh, we, there was no way of knowing for sure uh, whether there was going to be, as we call it, seasonality with this virus. Were we going to hit sort of the rough spot in the fall? I want to be honest. We were prepared for a rough fall uh, from the very beginning. We have been extraordinarily worried about what's going to happen here with colder climate, uh, colder weather, and with uh, an influenza season uh, that's upon us. And even without influenza, many more respiratory viruses circulate uh, in our falls and our winter uh, here in the county and, and across the United States uh, in the colder months. So uh, while we were, just as you noted, you know, we were really hoping uh, that that would not be the case, we were preparing for the fact that uh, we could have a very rough patch uh, in the fall and the winter. I want to be honest also and say we had no idea that we would accelerate uh, and increase our number of cases over such a short period of time. Uh, that's alarming uh, and indicates uh, that we, we really have a lot to do at this point uh, to get this virus back under control in L.A. County. Nobody is looking more forward to a vaccine than Barbara Ferrer is uh, as head of uh, public health for the nation's most populous county. Uh, God bless you, doctor. Thank you very much for taking the time. Do appreciate it. Thank you so much.